All right, guys, welcome back to our Jacksonville Jaguars practice series. Happy Thursday. Today, practice 31 coming at you. We got goal line stand, two minutes, 30 seconds of a bloodbath with the practice team is what we got going on. We got to run to the left side. Daryl Washington cannot get out there. Just met by the pulling right guard. Touchdown practice team. Very quick touchdown there. 17-10 will be the score following this. A PAT. Kicker up and through. 227 left. 17-10 practice team. Not very rare that the practice team scores immediately um, in this uh, in this particular uh, style of uh, of practice scenario. That's okay. Brandon Banks, nowhere to go on this one. Nowhere to go. Gets up to the 17 yard line. No further. 224 left, and uh, we're just gonna come out running and gunning because that is uh, one of the things we do well on this squad. Corey Fuller in the slot. Uh, we're going to have Blackman running the curl. He looks like he's about to get pressed, uh, but just in case he's let go, and he is, mind you, on the zone coverage, and Derek Carrier does stay in bounds, 20 yards, very nice. He is able to stay in bounds, which is delightful. We'll go slant play next. Um, I am hoping to, as I always say, slow play this one. We don't want to give the practice team any more opportunities with the ball than we have to, and here, Corey Fuller, and he fumbles the football. Corey Fuller, who's finally getting a chance. He spent two years here in Jacksonville biding his time at the bottom of the depth chart. Got some great physical assets, height, speed. We've worked on his hands. We've worked on things. And here he just makes a nice catch, makes a nice little move, and then pop. Football comes right out. And uh, he's gonna unfortunately going to be our thumbnail. Boom. Thumbnail acquired. Corey Fuller dropping the football. 212 left. It's going to take a miracle for us to come back and win this practice scenario. That was clearly a fumble. And uh, just a few moments after uh, we are successful in uh, getting the ball back, we are going to have to go back on defense here. Halfback tackled there by Wesley Woodyard. Five yard gain for him. That brings up a two minute warning. We, we essentially have to uh, have to stop the practice team right here. If they get a first down, they're in field goal range. And this practice is all but done. Uh, so hopefully we can nut up or shut up right here. We're going to push right. Uh, the practice team certainly showing left run, and that is what they do. Wesley Woodyard gets the edge, stops up the halfback. Unfortunately, because it's halfback, he still gets three yards. Uh, but a nice play there by Woodyard nonetheless we're gonna have to do the same thing here hopefully stop the runner just a little bit sooner this time the uh the practice team not showing a particular or not favoring a particular side this will be a run to the right and Wesley Woodyard gets behind the line of scrimmage user tackle I might say as well uh unfortunately the practice team still going for the field goal this is a 56 yarder that's a serious mud of and kick on fourth and two 150 left of the practice. We got to hope they miss. The ball is up, and that one hit the upright. It hit the crossbar of the uprights, and it is not good. So the Corey Fuller fumble, thanks to the tackling skills of Wesley Woodyard, uh, goes for does not end up harming us. And look at this run. Look at this run. Denard Robinson gets up, breaks it. Ba ba boom. 18 yards, just like that off the right-hand side. Got a couple of great blocks there, and we're back on offense just as we were. Wow, what a quick turn of events. Great tackle by Wesley Woodyard on halfback, who's impossible to bring down there. Marcel Reese, nice little gain. Just two yards, but that's aight. We got lots of time. We got lots of time. We got Carrier running the out route here. Basically the exact same play. This time, Delian going to roll right with Carrier and hit him in the wide open field. He tries to juke back into the field of play. Not able to, but that's all right. That's all right. No problem there. We're going to go wide receiver in this time. Slightly different play call. Again, we are not trying to, to, to score as quickly as we can. And oh my goodness, an age-old Madden mistake. I, I hit X twice to snap the ball, thinking the first time it didn't work. And then Delian actually throws to the X option receiver. 
and it actually gets caught by the other team. Obviously, wow, wow. <laughs> what do you even say to that? Just wow. Well, that's going to end our chances of winning this practice just a little bit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Please leave a comment in the comment section if you've ever done that. I think we've all done that. I think anyone who's played Madden has done that before. Never have I ever, though, I don't think anyways, thrown a pick as a result of that. That has to be like the world's quickest linebacker as it pertains to reflexes and as it pertains to just on their feet thinking like, my goodness, the linebacker came down with the pick on a ball that was thrown 0.25 seconds after it was snapped. My goodness. And you know what? That play should end it. Don't think the uh, the practice team can get a playoff here if they try to. No, they won't. That's practice, guys. One of the weirdest practices I've been involved in. Um, anyways, till next time. See you tomorrow for Happy Friday. I'm Tuxedo T-shirt, and I'm out.